Hey guys, you're watching Tech Radar. I'm Basil, this is a Google Pixel 2 XL. This is the Pixel 2. And today we're gonna to talk about the Android that sits inside these from the setup process right through to the user interface. Quickly running through the setup process here, you just need to connect to a Wi-Fi network, check for updates, enroll a fingerprint, and also you can transfer data from your old smartphone, I'm using a Pixel 2 XL, onto your new smartphone, which will do everything from applications right through to wallpapers. You can do this via Wi-Fi, or indeed you can plug in a cable. So now the Google Pixel 2 has been set up with a Pixel 2 XL, you can see it's got the same wallpaper, the same stock UI layout. You've got one home screen by default. You've got some information back there. Let's take a quick look at the stock wallpapers. You've got live universe or living universe come and play. There are a whole load of fun ones that Google has. Let's get rid of the Marvel ones so that we can get a living universe one. These are dynamic live wallpapers that move and look pretty sweet. So let's set that to the home screen and lock screen. And these also showcase this little element at the top a little bit better. Right now it tells me date information and also meeting information as well. But it'll also start to do smart things in the near future like relay traffic. So that kind of stuff's gonna appear there. If you want it in a little bit more detail, swipe into the left hand side where you've got your Google screen and this gives you access to all of what Google thinks you wanna be reading right about now. Swipe up from the bottom to activate your applications tray and long press to get an overview of your home screens. The home settings are relatively simple compared to a lot of third party launches. As you can see, you can change things like that second Google screen, etc. Um, jump out of that long press and you can also throw your widgets on here as well. Jumping into the settings, you can change your display settings a little bit more extensively than you could before. There's this whole panel called advanced. Here you can flick on and off vivid colors, which takes full advantage of that nice punchy display. Um, and you've also got more information about the rest of your smartphone, including the system version. So the Android version on here is Android 8. So anyone who doesn't know, Android obviously supports all of the latest applications in the Google Play Store. And these phones, Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, are daydream ready. They support double tap to wake. Those fingerprint scanners around the back support gestures as well. So I can swipe down to activate my notifications bar. In addition to that, you've also got the camera user interface, which supports this new improved portrait mode, which doesn't need two lenses in order to blur out the background, keep the foreground nice and sharp. It is software based and takes advantage of the dual pixel sensors under the hood. Jumping into the settings and you can see you've got the back camera resolution at 12.2 megapixels and the front camera resolution at eight megapixels. And you can also record up to Full HD in the front camera and up to 4K 30 frames per second in the rear camera. So you've got metal bodies across both. You've got glass tops around the camera surround. Unfortunately, there is no wireless charging on here. However, both do have NFC and those fingerprint scanners, like I said, that support those gestures. And you've also got an always on display. So if I power down the phone, the time will appear. What's really smart about this always on display is it's also always listening. A little bit creepy, but if there's music playing in the background, it downloads a database when you connect to the internet that doesn't take a huge amount of storage and it will tell you what music is playing in the background on your always on display. So you never need to open Shazam again. There's also some cool perks around the camera. If you open Google Photos, you're gonna have access to three years of unlimited backups for all your full resolution photos and videos. Snapdragon 835 under the hood with four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gig of storage or 128 gig variants, so neither are expandable. So that's Android O, the Android that's probably gonna be in most devices launched in 2018. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out our Google Pixel 2 coverage on techradar.com. Thanks for watching.